everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and today I thought we could experiment with regular sizing versus petite sizing. I'm someone who wonders how different petite sizing really is in comparison to, I'm hesitant to say the word normal because I don't really like the idea that I'm not normal as a short girl. So regular sizing in uh, general high street shops. What I've tried to do is purchase a variety of items. So a pair of denim jeans in regular and petite sizing from one store and then from another store a plain white tee regular and petite and then I've got a boiler suit over there just something a bit more quirky a maxi dress here and a pair of blazers regular and petite all from different websites however all of these websites are mainstream high street shops in the UK some of these also ship to the US if you are interested in any of the clothes that we experiment with the links will all be in the description and yeah, I thought we could just give it a go, do some try-ons. I've even got my, oh, I had my measuring tape. I just took the thumbnail for this video. I had it around my neck like that. I felt so cool. I actually felt like, you know when you walk into like a bra shop and you're about to get fitted or something, or you go to a dress shop and they're like, yes, I'm the, I'm the, one, I'm the one who knows what I'm talking about here because I've got this tape measure around my neck. I mean business. I swear that actually just like, ups your credibility by like 10 points yeah anyway i haven't got a clue but what i can do is measure the difference so let's kick it off the first dress so starting off i thought this maxi dress looked quite cute it's from Topshop. uh it's quite summery so quite fitting for right now i clicked on exactly the same link for the regular sizing and then the petite one showed up in you might also be interested in the below and as they've arrived one of them is quite a different colour to the other. One of them's a little bit more yellowy in tone and one of them's a bit, do you know what, let me just take these hangers off, seeing as they, they don't want to stay. It's the regular size that is more yellow and it's the petite sizing that's come out more white in the fabric. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't really make a huge difference. I've just found a stain on a brand new item. Do you know what, it's funny that because off topic, when I ordered these blazers from Misguided, um, no shade Misguided, but one of the tops that um, I also ordered, just to fill up my basket and make it free delivery, um, arrived smelling of body odour. And I was a bit appalled actually. And it made me think more about like people trying on clothing and then just being like, yeah, don't want that, send it back. But covered in body odour, this one's got a stain. I mean, <laughs> Look at me, I'm making a video all about it and then some of them, I, some of these items will get sent back, obviously, because they won't fit. But, I know, it just opened up my eyes a little bit to the world of, you know, what people do at home. Back to this dress. If you measure from the waist down, just from the, the entire sort of leg area of the dress, the petite one is shorter by four inches, which I think is quite nice. So the petite item is about 29 inches from the waist down to where the, the piece ends and then the regular one is 33 inches so 29 30 through 1 32 33 4 inches ding ding that's promising i am looking forward to trying that one on because that's definitely the kind of item i'd have to buy and then get taken up okay so trying on the first item it fits okay it's a little bit loose here this is the petite one um, but as I come down, you'll see soon that it doesn't really suit me or my body shape because I go out at the waist. So adding the extra pockets here isn't doing me any favours around the tummy. However, if you were taller and perhaps a little bit more streamlined, I think this would look really nice. Like imagine this Kate, or, uh, imagine this Kate, imagine this dress on like sort of like a Kate Middleton, that would look nice. <laughs> But not on Leah Hatzakis, unfortunately. Maybe with heels, you could make it work. But overall, it's not pinching me in the right places. But the petite is certainly fitting better than the regular size, which I'll show you now. So this is the regular. As you can see, I've got an excess of material here. Um, and the length is just ridiculous on me. It's just too far down to the floor there. However, the pockets I feel are less invasive on this one. I feel like because then it's made for a taller girl, they're sort of less clumped up. 
The material is so lovely. Even though this dress isn't for me, I really like the material and I do think it would work on taller on a taller woman. Um, the other thing I was going to mention was that you can see my bra just there and I don't really like that and I don't feel comfortable being braless. So that's something you have to think about perhaps just like zhuzhing your bra down if you were to get this. Um, so yeah, this one's a no-no but just for the style and fit you can see the differences. If anyone's interested it's actually 100% viscose so not linen but feels very light and perfect for summer so next item is this sort of more formal blazer i got it from misguided and they didn't have two uk size eights so i actually went for a size 10 in the end otherwise i would have got an eight because i do think an eight fits me a little bit better on top and just for reference this is a us six and a euro 38 so just so you can sort of get a vibe of what a UK 10 is. So this is probably one size too big for me, but for the purpose of the video, it's fine. It came as a two piece and I think I've shown it in another video as well. And it also made an appearance on my Instagram as a co-ord. I love the way it looked on the website. I actually think I might have fallen in love a little bit with the, uh, the model that was wearing these clothes. I was like, wow, I want to look like that. And then of course you get it home. You don't look like that. But yeah, I rocked it in a different way, if I'm allowed to say that myself. So I've just measured from the underarm to the end of uh, the sleeve. And the petite one's only one inch less in arm length. For me, that doesn't really make much difference because with a, with a blazer like this, I would probably roll up the sleeves just to like style it out a little bit anyway, because I'd feel a little bit too like, uh, <laughs> just put on my dad's blazer kind of thing trying to make it look a little bit more me these have been hanging by the way for four days on my rail and the creases from delivery have still not come out i was um hesitant about ironing these or giving them like a press because if i do end up sending them back because they're too big i don't want to Anyone who knows me knows that I'm not great at ironing. So they've got these padded shoulders, which I think are really nice for if you've got quite a small frame and you just want that little bit of shape. Usually I wouldn't really go for a padded shoulder, but when I tried it on, I did think it looked really good. As a side note, the co skirt that came with this piece was not available in regular sizing. It was only available as a petite sizing. And I also chose a size 10 in that which is a US 6 or a Euro 38. And that seemed to fit quite nicely. I had enough space to eat a good size meal and sit down, stand up, that kind of thing. So yeah, in general, I tend to be a UK 10 on bottom and a eight on top. Yeah, I don't like anything that's too tight on bottom. Like this skirt I'm wearing today, actually, it's a bit restrictive. Whilst I was scrolling, I did feel like mint was everywhere this season, and it has been for a while. This sort of like pale pastel green, minty colours. Yeah, so I'm probably going to keep one of these items in my wardrobe and maybe swap out the blazer for a smaller size when it comes back in stock and try and rock the co to any sort of fancy event I have coming up. I've actually got a baby shower coming up in August, so that could be a cool event. Although I do have to drive three hours there, so I don't know if I'd want to drive in this. Sleeve's just a bit too long there. Definitely too big. Right, moving on. Jeans, exactly the same, one in petite and one in regular from Miss Selfridge. These are the petite, and already, just from holding them next to each other, even with me rolling them up a little bit at the bottom, you can obviously see that the length is quite considerably less on the petite, which is promising. I'm gonna roll them out and properly measure now, just so we can get a really accurate gauge, because I think the maximum length I ever want in leg is 30 and then I still have to roll it up. I think the ideal leg is probably 28 for me. So these are also a mom style jeans, about M-O-M. And in my experience, mom jeans 
are so hard to get a nice fit for me because I've got a smaller waist but I've got big uh, legs and thighs. Bit, not huge but bigger in comparison to my waist. So let's do the measure. Measuring tape. I hope everyone doesn't mind that I'm doing inches. Just sort of like learnt behaviour from a family of I was about to say a family of tailors, but not really, it's just my grandma. So I'm pretty sure that when measuring, you go from like the inner thigh, is that, that is that right, to the floor? I don't think it would ever be from outer. I think it's inner leg. So let's go for regular. So regular with the mum jean is coming up at 28. Bear in mind that mum jeans are not meant to touch the floor. You always see them styled with sort of trainers and they'll cut off above the ankle so because that's a 28 inch leg that would fit me as a petite girl to the floor which is wrong for the style of jean to be honest they were not as bad as what i was thinking usually jeans are to the floor and beyond on me when they're not petite so it must be because they're mum style and they're naturally going to be shorter than what a normal pair of jeans would be um but yeah i was quite surprised then then, with the petite pair, from the inner leg to the floor, 24 inches, perfect. So if I roll that up, times two, that should finish on me at a nice place, with a pair of white trainers, and probably a white tee, just keeping it basic. Next up, I chose a plain white t-shirt, because I feel like, it's always something people will buy. White t-shirts seem to go quickly. They always seem to sell out. This one is from Dorothy Perkins. I think the quality looks quite good. It doesn't look too see-through. That's always what I'm looking for with white t-shirts. I don't want anything that's that you're gonna be able to see through to my bra. I can't stand that. What I'm interested in here is the length from under the arm down to where the t-shirt finishes. Yeah, even just holding it up there, you can see it, to, to the eye, it looks like about an inch, but I'm just gonna measure it in case I'm wrong. So from under the arm to the bottom, that's 13 and a half. And then here on the regular one, yeah, 16. So 13 and a half, oh, it's way more. It's way more than an inch. So that's quite nice. Um, usually if I do buy regular t-shirts and I don't get petite, I'll just do that thing where you just tuck it in and just sort of like zhuzh it out like that. Like for instance, this t-shirt I'm wearing right now is not petite, but doesn't exactly, it's not game changer. It's, it's, not, it's not the end of the world, really. The, the most important thing for me is jeans and dresses. That's the biggest one. T-shirts, I think you can get away with. Long sleeved things, I don't think you can get away with when it's sort of hanging over the edge of your arm. Or if you're a tall girl and it's finishing there, it's just like, okay, I'm gonna have to roll up these sleeves and style it and make it look like it was made for me. Lastly, I thought we'd go for something different just because like, it's a bit unique. It's a denim boiler suit look. I have not tried this on yet. This will be the first time. Um, again, oh, I went for a size eight this time, which is a USA four uh, and a Euro 36. This one in this hand is the petite and then this is the regular. So what I'm gonna do is I'll measure the arm length, the leg length, and compare them. Well, you can already tell on the regular that it's touching the bottom of my rail. Don't know if the camera shows that. So I already know it's gonna be too long for me. <laughs> right, so inner thigh to the bottom. And the reason why I thought it would be good to try from different retailers is that with these high street brands, they'll tend to just copy what the other ones are doing. That's what I think, <laughs> that is purely opinion, I don't know if that's fact, but if Topshop are doing a few inches less for Petite, the chances are that New Look and the rest of them are all just going to do what the others are doing. That was just examples, by the way. So, inner thigh to bottom, we've got just nearly 26 inches, and then on Petite, 23. So, three inches less, which is again promising with an outfit like this i'd probably do that thing again where you roll it like that and if it was more formal i'd maybe put a pair of like wedges with this like those you know the um what are they called 
they're kind of like woven. I've, the name escapes me right now. Espadrilles. <laughs> Sorry, I just hiccuped as I said that. Espadrilles, so like the espadrille wedge style shoes. I think they'd look really nice with this. And then one of those bags that's like, again, the woven wooden look. Oh, I'll insert a picture because I'm, I'm not explaining that very well. Arms. Well, it's quite hard to measure that because it's such a curvy arm. Again, I've noticed a little pen stain on that. I hope that wasn't me because I haven't had a pen near any of my clothing. What's interesting here is let's see if the petite one has made the waist smaller as well because one thing that is a little bit annoying about petite clothing is that as well as them reducing the length of things, I think there's an assumption that petite girls are always slimmer when that's not necessarily true. You can get petite girls that are um, fuller than like the regular sizes so I think that can be quite annoying when you buy a petite item and you're like they're assuming I'm a size zero when I'm not so let's have a look 11 and a half inches on petite 12 inches so half an inch smaller around the waist not ideal but you know I suppose they just sort of think it shrinks like that okay the boiler suit fits really nice up top but it's a little bit tight around the thighs as i mentioned before i have got a smaller waist but bigger thighs so the distance between here and here i think i might get on better with the regular in this jumpsuit and then i can just roll it up from the bottom um also these are how it fastens so if i undo that oh i can breathe um the petite one lovely that it arrives with the sleeves already kind of rolled suggesting that you wear it that way um maybe i should have sized up in this one but let's see how the regular fits and the length is coming to a really nice place but would also work well rolled up i quite like this actually i wasn't expecting this i really like this boiler suit and the regular fits so much better than the petite i've got a little bit more room to move around i have turned it up at the bottom just because it did come all the way down pretty much to there so it needed to be turned up okay there's a little bit more excess material up top um whereas with the petite that was a little bit more fitted but you can't win them all can you sometimes you're going to find something that fits better up top but not as good below and vice versa so yeah i really like that it reminds me of being like a um a boiler no a boiler someone who fixes boilers what are they called plumber hi it's the plumber here to fix your taps <laughs> right anyway that's enough i hope you enjoyed that i think this is my favorite item of the items i did buy thank you so much for watching that video if you've watched all the way through to the end then thank you so much that means a lot to me i hope you enjoyed it there's some other videos on the short girl shops playlist which will all be linked up on the side and in the cards go check them out i am really enjoying doing this series and don't forget if you do like any of the items i featured in this video i tend to link up everything in the description with a us link and a uk link depending on where you're watching from that's about everything don't forget to follow me on my social media subscribe for more videos and i'll see you next week bye ba 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 da 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 <laughs> do you never end sync no just me when i dance alone and the sun's bleeding down blame it on me and when i lose control and the veil's overused blame it on me